Last night, we started Eyewitness News at 11 with a bombshell. Congressman Lou Barletta taking a shot at a U.S. Senate seat by challenging Bob Casey. And 24 hours later, the dust is starting to settle. And as lead I team reporter Andy Mahalshik explains, Barletta's decision could have a domino effect from Washington to Harrisburg. For the first time in eight years, the House seat in the 11th Congressional District will be filled by someone not named Barletta. Political analyst David Yonkai thinks the race will attract many candidates who may have been afraid to challenge a four-term congressman. Any Democrat who was thinking about running against Barletta now has their thunder pulled, mainly because they're going to be running against a brand new candidate. So they're not going to have to, they're not going to be running against Barletta's record. They're going to have to be running against a new person in that race. And some names are being tossed around. I think people like uh, Tara Tuhill, the current state representative in the 116th, might be the logical successor and a very good candidate. Also, Dan Muser, a couple of other people might be interested in it. On the Democratic side, Bill Vinsco has expressed an interest. In Democrat Bill Vinsco challenged Barletta several years ago, but he came up short. He thinks the political landscape and mood in the country is very different this time around, and he may give it another shot. We need people to believe it doesn't matter if you're Republican or Democrat, you have to be working for the people at all times. Republican State Representative Tara Tuhill from Hazleton told this reporter, I am considering a run for the congressional seat. I have not made a final decision. Andy Mohalshik, Eyewitness News. Barletta won't be able to hold on to his congressional seat while running for the U.S. Senate. The election for the U.S. Senate seat is next year, and we will continue to follow that, plus the race to replace Barletta as election season heats up.